Brown with the song Heaven. And welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. It's Wednesday. It's the end of match. This is it. The 31st and triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Keep the questions coming because we will be answering them in just a bit right now. Though, it's time for Relationship Circle. So today we're going to get it blunt. We're going to get it truthful and factual from the man himself, Benjamin Zulu. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and wow. we're talking about 80% of the relationship. And I don't know why 80, man. Like 80 seems like just a huge number. There's a guy called Pareto who came up with the principle that a lot of good things you yeah. see come from only 20% of the contributors. <laughs> 80% percent of results are coming from 20 yes. percent of the people that works in the work environment in marriages yes. so many times uh the, the 80 is resonating in many areas of life that okay. guy just gave us the a way to measure it okay. but a lot of people had already observed it yes. so let's start here we, we, the reasons why relationships are failing and mass mm. in big masses mm -hmm. are many but the leading one is trust issues okay that's true <laughs> So, it's like yes. <laughs> so yes. we have trust can come from broken promises, mm -hmm. inconsistent behavior, mm -hmm. suspicious conduct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when a person suddenly instills many passwords that look like that of a thief yes. on their phone, and they are before they were open. Yes. Or you discover they've been keeping away, stashing away money after ten years. You discover they've been doing things, and they have secrets. Immediately you realize they are not trustworthy. So trust can also come from this. That that part is the person you're not trusting. Who is you're not wrong. You've really discovered inconsistency. So I can't rely on you. But there's another one that I want to warn you against. Okay. This is called suspicion without proof. And this is pathological. Oh, this is sickness. And okay. is what is ruining relationships. Uh -huh. There's a guy who told me he can have his he can hardly sleep. He's having this lady, the, the nonsense of living together before people get married. Okay. When people live together before they get married, you confuse the interview. Mm. You've admitted the person mm. before you've evaluated that they, they fit. Mm. But most guys, what do they do? They sleep with the woman first. Yes. They sample the supplies yes. without measuring the supplier. <laughs> well, they're consistent. <laughs> <laughs> so they get trapped. Uh -huh. So to me, the girl wakes up at night to go through my phone, chat, everybody finds their quarrels, girls on like, go, 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 man, she's turning my life crazy. <laughs> Where? And and and, <laughs> I, and, and, and and I tell them, we believe it within nine months. I've expressed my intention to our people. I was planning to go there. La, 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 la. And I'm asking him, so what are you still doing in that relationship? So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so he's asking my helpless, so acting helpless. So this woman is impossible to marry. Can we announce this? Not everybody you love is marriageable. Some people mm. don't have the ability to trust you. And the person who, you can, who can't trust you, you can't build a life with them. Can we stop ah. underestimating this? It's impossible, oh we call it, to live day after day after yes. day. When yes. you have to take a photo to improve, you're actually at sweet. When you have to do a video call to say that you're actually with Zulu, not another mm. guy. When mm. you have to screenshot everything to prove to somebody, that life is impossible. So, exactly. When you say you're in the kitchen, you must do something to prove you're in the kitchen. Yes. When you say Sukumawiki, you must uh, come up with a way to prove that actually Sukumawiki. So people who, that, who cannot trust are impossible to live in a marriage. Mm. Don't let your love because you say, you know, I love him so much. I love her so much. The guy obviously loves the girl, mm. but your love, your emotions don't think. You have to think for them. Oh, wow. <laughs> your love, your heart can reason. You have to check the, the person it is attached to, whether you can build a, li a life with them. I see people forcing things just because the love is sincere. Love is not enough. You mm. need a person who can trust you. All right. So, trust issues are number one. Now, let me just clarify something before we go. Yes. And I, I think for me, it was just a, a light bulb moment yes. that there are people that will be suspicious because you have inconsistencies. Exactly. Check. And, and then, <laughs> kuna hao wengine when you them, trust is a thing they know nothing about. Everything they see is suspicious, suspicious, suspicious. So exactly. those are two different categories of people. If trust was eye, if it was eyesight, they don't have the eyes. They're blind. No, they don't. It's cool. I get it now. And I want to, t next time I'll tell you the pathology, why they can't trust people. Oh. One reason is because they themselves are cheating. Okay. 
Okay. As if things everybody is plotting left. They, you think as you are. So, mm. they, they're usually projecting them onto you. Mm. Other people were cheated before and they were unable to heal. So they think you will also behave like the past. Okay. So there are many reasons. You don't want to go to that. You can spend our whole life studying the pathology of mistrusting people, but it's mm. not worth the effort. Just mm. get the lesson. Okay. As long as they can't trust, they keep mistrusting every time, just conclude early. This one is impossible. I'm sorry. Sometimes you walk away from people you love. Mwikali. That's true. Sometimes you walk away. You, it's painful, but it is necessary. L reason number two, relationships don't work is going through life at different speeds okay if a person is learning and growing faster while the other one is stuck at home within a short while this one is growing your social circles and your professional circles and your friendships interactions your life on a day to day will be so different from the other that you have no point of convergence let me tell you the bad news. Even if you had explosive chemistry, because women, you value chemistry. You had this, oh my God, oh my, I see a bad feeling. Oh my God, goosebumps everywhere. When I see Jim, I can't go for so oh my God. Look at her, there he takes me. Akiwi, don't behave like that, Zulu. <laughs> oh, you, if you see girls dramatizing chemistry, oh my God, you will feel it. And she shaped off. You, even the hug is almost a religious sex. Oh my God, it swept off. Even if the chemistry was that explosive, yes. when you mentally grow different, the chemistry vanishes. Okay. You are able, to, you are sleeping bodies next to each other, but there's no connection anymore. Mm. Because you are irritated by their jokes, you never, no longer find them funny. Okay. <laughs> this person. There are guys who, and I told you the mistake we make, we as guys, the moment we are ready to marry, we look back. We try to marry girls who are younger because they're less threatening. Mm. They look innocent, mm. Mm. more cooperative, and mm. she needs me in every aspect, of course. <laughs> we forget some of these girls are moving faster than you. <laughs> she yes. is in the university now. Yes. But she's, she's so hungry. She will climb so fast along the career ladder that she will bypass you within five or ten years. That's true. That's the problem, Mikali. And I keep using example with you. When you are 23, society thought you were good enough to marry. Mm. Graduated. <laughs> mm. So you could have married a guy who's driving. Perhaps he's ahead, and you think, yeah, we shall be there. Then he's trying to put a shop for you there locally, trying <laughs> to help you open a YouTube channel. Just use YouTube before he grows slowly. <laughs> But you, you want this. Yes. Today he sees you with Zulu, you are cheating. Do you know that people, according to whom you cheat with everyone? Every yes. male thing. Whatever <laughs> is in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we That's have the human beings one. like that. Yes. And it's the point number one I told you don't try to reform them, don't try to correct them, don't familiar people. Walk Life away. is already hard as it is. So I want you to be very careful. So the, the, the leading cause of uh, uh, growing at different speeds are two. Okay. Number one, there are people who premature marriage before you knew your own speed of thought, mm -hmm. hunger, how much you want out of life, where you have been 10 years. You need to be able to see what you're becoming so that as you marry, you know this person will, go, will be able to accommodate that. And you want to hear whether they want as much as you. Okay. All right. The, the second reason is that people who lose courage somewhere in life, they lose their job, they suffer several failures and setbacks and they just give, give up. up. <laughs> they were okay, but they, they give up. For a while, you drag them because they were a teammate. Mm, mm. <laughs> you carry them. But then it becomes very unattractive. But even good, even patient people lo la run out of courage. So That's the true. warning for all couples is please harmonize your speeds. There's the other thing, number two B. Number two A was different speeds. Uh -huh. <laughs> number two B was growing diff in, in similar directions. Both of you can grow in, but diverging. Okay. We are both hungry for growth, but I wanted to conquer Europe. I wanted to establish a, a grocery supermarket in Europe. You, you wanted to work in Switch, <laughs> to work in media in yeah. Kenya. We are both hungry, but different directions. You need to adjust and give up some things to, so that your lives are still compatible mm. and working together. Mm. All right? Mm. Trees grow, but sometimes you shape their growth a certain direction. That's true. You too, now that you are focused on growth, uh, number two is about growth. Grow at, at similar speeds and grow in, in similar directions. Okay. This that no, does not mean you're in the same career, of course. No. You can be a lawyer, I'm in media, but we are doing our things together. We have projects together. We are conversing every day. And I told you, the more your life expands, the more you must not allow things to come in between. When you were using one, one car as a couple, you had a lot of time driving together. That's true. Cars increase your money of mine. Now that time is gone. You must be thought you must be thoughtful. Sometimes just use one car so that you can spend that time together still. Mm. Converse and grow together and think about things. The other problem that brings uh, 
couples apart is interference by in-laws, lack of boundaries, unstructured relationship with both families, and families are full of envy and conflict of interest because this was their daughter. Now you came mm -hmm. here, we are no longer receiving the allowances you used to mm -hmm. receive. This is a son. Now you came to replace the mother in the son's life. And uh, if some cultures wanted to live in the same compound. And I want you about the problem of being physically visible to your mother-in-law every morning. Yes. Even yes. if she's a good woman and you are a good woman. Yes. Uh, contempt comes because of familiarity. Mm. Sometimes you need, even if you, th this guy, the last born, in most cultures, the last born should build around. Mm. I tell him, even if, even if he's building around, you need a way for your woman to have her own privacy. Yes. If you live in Nairobi, of course, you only visit up country. That may not be necessary because mm. you don't live there. You only visit a weekend and you're gone. So you have a small house there, but you know, really, your life is away. But if day by day you are living the same environment, with in laws, it can bring friction over minor issues. So, for years and chicken, <laughs> <laughs> funny things <laughs> about to saw my kijiko. I left my soap here, oh God, and labeling cups <laughs> exactly oh, yeah, and monitoring. <laughs> you know, comments. <laughs> Is <laughs> your funny comments? You came with a, in the company of your own cousin, and mm. there's a guy who came here with. The, do you know the guy? Mm. <laughs> They're reporting mm. you. Yeah. So, uh, in law interference by in-laws, if not managed, our yeah. in-laws are our origins. We mm. were given birth. We grew up in a family. We're not an island. Mm. So obviously we are our relatives. But if you don't manage the relationships, they can interfere so much. Number the, the other thing, number four, is money. Okay. Money issues. Money itself. Even, with, even if you mean well, because we need money to buy everything. Money gives us security. Money yes. gives us comfort. Money mm -hmm. gives us that issue itself. There are people who are, who are oriented by their mothers to keep a secret account because men are unreliable. <laughs> Hi, girl. <laughs> they have been <laughs> cultured to believe that you must have. The day the guy would discover that mm -hmm. sometimes we would go hungry when you had, we had hidden money. In your Trust is days. gone. Exactly. <laughs> Trust is gone. I don't mean that we should always be open. Sometimes it's a matter of wisdom. It's not a matter of secret. Mm. You're keeping it for any days and when we have need, you bring it. Yes. So the thing is not that you had money aside. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you did not steal it from anywhere. It was your own. You are saving. Maybe you keep, every time with the, you're kept aside, it's wisdom because sometimes you, 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 you can come, come through during a crisis yeah. and it really helps. Yeah. So we are not saying you must not. We are saying the motive. How, how you, have you been able, are you for us? So if we have gone through tough times when you had you, uh, the solutions, but you hate them, now I don't trust you. It feels like sometimes they will do that as a way out. So you're already in here, but you're already uh, planning for your exit. Exactly. <laughs> and that, in fact, in today's culture, we have a lot of, um, sometimes you find that a person is earning more than the other. The other. Then I told you couples, some, they use pool. They are those who use pool system. Bring all the money together, let's mm. get our needs from mm. there. But those are very minor, uh, minute, uh, small percentage of couples. We and don't I'm, do that. I'm not one of them. <laughs> 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 I don't want every hundred bob I take out to buy in DZ it shows. No, <laughs> no. Uh -uh. So I would rather this that three system. So the pool system, bring everything together. Mm -hmm. Then there's one called pass your pool so that you only bring a percentage of your income mm -hmm. for the common needs. Okay. Then okay. other people don't pull the money, they divide the needs. Take care of this, I take care of the other one. Okay. So there many there are many people and we don't use one system throughout life because we are earning differently. Yes. So when we are starting and there's only one of us who are earning, surely we just distribute it. Mm. But the thing, the philosophy I say is this, every money coming to us is for us, not you. Don't count it like it's yours. Just because it's in your account number does not mean it's yours alone. The levels of trust among couples about money needs to be worked every year by year because money itself can divide people. That's true. Money itself can divide people. And for men, money brings temptations and invites a lot of evils. <laughs> when you look like you're float, you're fluid, you're liquid. Mm. Mm. You have a lot of temptations around. Mm -hmm. And people realize you send money to this, send money to that, send money to that, send money to that. And she feels excluded from my life because yeah. I'm making too many purchases and investments and uh, expenditures without involving her. Mm. It's like now my life is like we are drifting apart just because I have my own money. So I tell couples that money is one area of evolution on its own. If you are blessed, you keep working hard and money is coming. If you do not handle it, it, it will begin to look like you don't trust my input. Ah. You bought the car, I saw it here. That's not good. <laughs> And we're taking a break. If you have any questions, triple one, triple four, triple one. The topic is why 80% of the relationships we're in or people's, people around us are in do not last. Why is that so? We'll be right back after this break.
Welcome back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. And I see your messages on uh, Facebook. Geoffrey Chua say, good morning, Mukali, tuning in from Molem. I love Benjamin, the way he expresses himself. Peterson Karanjan, as my buddy here, I like the way he puts things in order. More say the facial expression. Every word he mentions is worth him. Bonfils Gatawa, we are mending our torn hearts, please. <laughs> oh, guys are talking today. Yeah, Those boys are club, guys. Boys club. <laughs> they are. But then we can't ignore the fact that most of the relationships that we are getting into recently or now, we are just focused on the physical. You meet someone, you see them, and you're just like boom, boom, boom. And then Mkshans and you call Allah. Kumbe akukua na kitu after ye? In fact, I told you the other day that it's very easy to deceive men. <laughs> if you can if you can get him from thinking upstairs to thinking downstairs mm. he's done mm. that's how samson went down yes and the girl was not even cunning she was saying what she's trying to tell him repeatedly what she's trying to do to him yeah try to hand you but you are too strong i can't manage you tell me how you can manage you so i can give you to some guy to kill you <laughs> <laughs> and he keeps flowing along yes sometimes it's not that the lady is cunning it's that the guy is dumb <laughs> It's just following. Sometimes I keep telling men, men, I, I, I like to remind us that when you're infatuated with a woman, yes. you're half insane. Ooh. When a guy is he's in a crash, he's running, imagining this woman with her in a bedroom, he is not normal. That's why advertisements everywhere, they bring sexual innuendo <laughs> to get me to buy without thinking. <laughs> they're, imagine they're selling cooking oil and they put a sexual innuendo there. There's the bicycle, sexual, everything, a shoe, everything. <laughs> so, so uh, because guys are talking, I want to remind us that yeah. whatever gets you excited can get you hooked. They catch fish by what it eats. Mm -hmm. This is male co men mm. conference. We don't tell women too much. Uh, <laughs> uh, watch out, wait, wait. Spill the beans. <laughs> So, <laughs> sometimes as a man, you think you're on top. Because when you sleep with a woman, you are literally on top. Mm -hmm. But, and if a woman can get you to unzip your trousers, she's the one in charge. Mm -hmm. You may think you are the one in control of the game, but actually, now you have a secret to keep. Now she knows you through and through. She knows how to bring it down. She can expose you in the day. And they, I, I, I keep telling guys, can we stop this illusion? People keep asking why the girl child is overtaking the boy child. Because corporate, everywhere is the women now getting tight to getting the Nobel Peace Prize. It's because we have so much uh, illusions of grandeur that we are powerful as men. Mm. Automatically, I'm the husband, I'm the head. This is my home. Those men will come home shouting, this is my home. It's because they were not performing. They needed to assert it because they are drunk and useless. A man who is in charge never needs to say it. That's so true. our biggest problem as men is assumption of power, superiority. In reality, I keep telling men that the thing that you shall know a good man, a, a good guy, a powerful guy when he's opening doors for the lady, he's showing the ladies away. Loud as Zulu. When he's being gentle, when he's being generous. Mm. When, and I told you the other day, when, when you start hearing things like stinginess, trending, <laughs> we are losing the boy child. That's you true. want generous men association in his stead. Mm. <laughs> men who and can... Exactly. And I want to tell telling guys that even when, when it's when it's a lady's birthday, get her a flower. Doesn't mean you have anything between the two of you. No. Bring her rose flower. She feels appreciated. Give your daughter flower. Give your mother flower. Give your sister. It's okay. Nobody's saying this and it looks like it's out of the norm. Your know, gangster point is not showering, stinking, <laughs> smelling bad. Who is this advertising primitive behavior? Being a gentleman, being a strong man means you you know you lead the way. And I tell most women, good women have no problem with submission if you have leadership. That's true. The problem is they can't submit to avoid, to lack of responsibility, to a person who's not showing up when there's need. Yes. If she's the one calling, paying bills, showing leadership, initiating conversations, she has mm -hmm. to chase after you to sort issues. How can she submit to a person who's behind her? Say you have to it. be ahead. That's Submission is a response to leadership. Anyway, let's <laughs> I'm just here <laughs> saying yes, 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 <laughs> yes. My woman follows me naturally because she never feels my absence. Mm. I have, I have a solution to every situation. She can call me up. I keep, I tell guys once you marry, keep your phone closed. I, I, even if you are on situ on air, <laughs> if they abduct my woman, I'll chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Be the to go to person exactly. for your wife. Be a first friend. Mm. And in fact, she'll brag. She'll market you everywhere. Yes. <laughs> she'll brag. You never yeah. need to be in the repetition mm -mm. when she's happy. Mm -mm. And I tell, I tell guys, these are virtuous women I'm describing, not the wild women. 
No. We have wife material and wild material. The guy was having uh, a woman who is snooping on uh, his phone throughout, throughout and he has not done anything and yeah. she's waking up at night to tiptoe like a demon <laughs> to go check for problems. Those are the kind of women you should not come close to. They will shorten your life. They will actually take you down with the kidney failure, with the lung cancer, with the issues. They will stress you to death. You drive and you start crying, you forget, you hit yourself somewhere. That's how men die. Men are in <laughs> clubs running away from the problem in the house. Hey, tip Doing like a demon, ah. you must see at that. I'm just like. <laughs> Can you imagine what? at night? Somebody sneaking out with your phone <laughs> to go oh chat people at night in your name. Hey, <laughs> so, hey. And anybody who isolates you socially is, is actually finishing you. Mm. you your, your networks equal your net worth. Mm. If you come and insult my work colleague with whom you have journeyed so much and you push them away from me, what, what, where am I remaining now? Mm. My job opportunities, my business comes through people. Yeah. My life is now if you come insulting them and insult them in my name so that it's like I have, I, you have my permission. It's like they feel like now they can't access me anymore. Yeah. So I keep telling guys that the first success, uh, uh, okay, I don't want to give you too much about male's conference, but we studied as men. Okay. That people like um, mm -hmm. uh, people like Henry Ford were brought up by their women. It's the, it's, it was only the wife of Henry Ford who believed in him. Okay. People like Napoleon Bonaparte, the greatest general, went down when he put apart his woman. The women were quietly supporting. When they left, the man started crumbling. Ah. I don't need to mention names, but if I tell you the trend, you start seeing it everywhere. There are men politically ever were brought up by the women. When they put aside the women, they started descending. In chess game, when you lose your queen, you lose the game. In That's chess true. game, all right. Mm. I, I tell men that is the summary of our life. <laughs> Get a queen. You need us. You lose the queen. Can't live without them. Can't <laughs> live with them. It's just a whole situation. <clears throat> all right. The other thing I wanted to tell you about why okay. relationships don't work. Okay. <laughs> And <laughs> eagerly, wait, I'm just like, here, yeah, give it to me. The, the thing that relationships are nothing don't work is, is abuse, relational abuse, okay. narcissism, repeated mistreatment. There are people whom you started when they were good. Somewhere along the way, they were lifted in pride. Mm. They became senior somewhere. They became. They started being admired by girls everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I keep telling guys, don't forget that it's your woman who polished you enough for other girls to admire you. That's true. <laughs> They're admiring Very her work. True. <laughs> And they, and they keep telling people like, oh, we, lost gener we lost good generals in our country like Samuel Wanjiro for lacking a woman who could organize him. Yeah. When you don't have a woman, even if you're successful, you are prone to predators. Mm. You are an easy prey. So one of the things I keep reminding uh, uh, couples is that once you see a person who started to repeatedly mistreat you, don't say you're fighting for your marriage. No. Today, we can leave, if, if, if you tell people that you're struggling in your marriage, church and parents and villagers, if you tell the, those three groups mm. that relatives, da, 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 I'm struggling in my marriage, their first instinct is persevere. Relationships mm, yeah. are not easy, mm -mm. but there are two kinds of struggles. Yes. The first struggle is when I struggle with you to build a life together. Yes. We are, we are, we, a we are, team. Exactly. When you struggle together, that's the right struggle. But yes. this other kind of struggle, we are struggling against me. <laughs> Not a struggle. To we get a respect. To, nah. to get my, your relevance in my life. Mm -mm. Because I'm cheating and flirting all over. Mm -mm. That is not the right struggle. So I'm saying that the other thing that breaks marriages is when a person begins to mistreat the other one. And I tell you not to withstand mistreatment, not for the sake of the children. I, and we need to announce this repeatedly for the idiots who keep reciting the idiots' creed. Okay. I'm staying in abuse for the sake of the children. You are damaging the children. You never, the first reason you leave abusive marriages is what? The children. Because they are observing. Because you are teaching them how marriage and life operates. Mm. And if you mislead them, they'll end up being mistreated the same way. For sometimes generational curses are modeling we did that were wrong. I can see you are holding questions. I am. <laughs> Hello, Mikali and Benja. Benja oh. Salimika. Hello. How can I help my situation where my hubby runs away from communication whenever I want us to talk? Now, more worse, he wants us to sleep in the, he wants to sleep in the living room where the house help is here. I feel like this is dis disrespectful to me. Please help. Wait. When he runs this way, run the other way. Okay. Let me tell you something. Don't, don't let people think you are without choice. Huh? Mm. And I'm not saying you stay with one leg out. I'm saying uh -uh. let people always know you are staying here because you choose to, not because yes. you have no choice. When they start treating you like a nuisance, by the time you leave, you go sleep in the coach. Let me leave the whole house for you. Or you yourself check out. Sometimes they have contributed nothing. Mm. Don't go out. Kick him out. There are some guys who, oh, their belongings can fit in one green paper bag. <laughs> they're out <laughs> so i'm saying instead of him mistreating you and embarrassing you in front of your maid bad company why are you forcing it you don't have to do it very true <laughs> most men who don't trust ladies are players mm -hmm. please zulu talk about those men who have kids outside wedlock they do brag a lot about uh, a lot but it's stupidity they're living their life why are you bothered about it 
Hi Mwikali. <laughs> I'm Betty. What do I do? <laughs> so Mwikali, the summary is, if a person starts bragging about sickness, let them live their sick life. You live yours. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi Mwikali, I'm Betty from Meru. I'm in a long distance relationship. My boyfriend is Konai and we are doing fine because we trust each other. And uh, the worst ni eti, I mean, hey. Are you afraid of reading? <laughs> this one? <laughs> this one you'll need to, I don't know what you will do. <laughs> I'm in high school. Oh, okay. Stop there, Mikali. Yeah. This kid, please go learn, know how to boil malenge in your mother's kitchen. Go learn basic, how to chase away cockroaches when they encroach in the kitchen, how to wash dishes, and how to wash your own clothes. Well, morning, Mikali. Say hi to Zulu. I have a question. Hello. I'm married to a, I'm married to a guy, and I'm one, year, I'm one year older. I really respect him, and we're living so peacefully. We do our projects together and we have a great we have great conversations. We have two beautiful girls. Anytime people talk about age and that a man should always be older, I really feel low. Is there any possibility that we will have problems? We have no. been together for five years now. Are in their marriages that are successful when a woman is older than a man? I keep using Benjamin Disraeli because he was a public figure. He married a woman who was fifteen years older than him and he had a very happy marriage. Yeah. Please don't worry about the years difference. That women who are older, they use that as a point of insecurity. Mm -hmm. If your is happy with you please have life baby can i tell her that there are many people also older but they don't announce it and yes. you can't see it on their faces yes you stop telling us we did not know before you mentioned it can you live your life live your life five years two beautiful girls focus i love it hi Mikali. i stopped working to take care of my baby and now me and my hubby don't seem to get along because of money it's like sasa and anidarao do i'm not bringing anything to the table what should i do do i take a break from him I hope uh, you did a good thing because sometimes babies are delicate. Yes. They need you to be close. Yes. Some situations will leave you no choice. That's true. Once you sense that this baby requires me, you can't mm -hmm. continue working and the baby suffers or you even lose the baby or they grow with a, a problem that you did not detect. Mm. Things like autism or epilepsy, you, you detect them when you are closely observing. Yeah. This house helps many of them can't see the signs. Mm. They can't see what happened. So this woman did the right choice. The next thing is, once a person starts to show you disrespect, Mekali, any day, you need to let them know that you can actually survive without them. Okay. Have this conversation. The way you have told us now, tell him. I observed that because I'm not bringing money, yet I'm taking care of our child. Yes. You've started looking down upon me. I wanted to announce to you that you need to make your choice. I can't stay where I am disrespected, not in this life. Choose whether we will have harmony or we, they can also strike another deal. Now that the kid is a little bit grown, can you pay a, a nurse? These nurses you can pay. Mm. <laughs> take hope. care. Go look for a job. Let's changa, we pay a nurse. There's a house help and are a visiting nurse daily. There's a way out. Exactly. So nobody should don't make you feel like you're somebody's this. slave. No. Because don't. you're not. Marriage is a, it's a, it's a, it's a mutually beneficial voluntary relationship between two Adults. Yes. It's not a master servant setting. No. Don't adopt the position of the lower position. Mm. By the way, many people who, who disrespect you usually need them more than they need you. That's true. If you go apart, the one who's disrespectful usually deteriorates. Mm. The one who had good heart and good intentions always goes up because they take their good intentions everywhere and people promote them, people accept them, but the one was snobbish, arrogant, estimate overestimated their importance. People notice it that they avoid you. Pride always loses. That's true. Um, hi Zulu and Wikali, tuned in from Nyandarwa. The issue of division, the issue of division by trust and money have really eaten into our relationship. He was used to hiding money in the <laughs> darkest corners of the house. I don't know why this is funny, but... Well, Not even in a bank. <laughs> hey, darkest corners of the house. So, anazijua ni kona gani zonyeusi. Fail to pay school fees, food or rent, and I unheed the money. <laughs> <laughs> and handed it to him. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you stop. Ah, I chose to invest alone, and since I'm really outgoing uh, freelancer than he is, I've managed to buy a car and residence, and we moved in. He's now gotten to a comfort zone because there's no rent. Food is cheaply available, and I don't nag him. If he doesn't pay fees for our kid, I don't nag. He seems to have... Uh, he doesn't. He seems to not have any vision in practice as much as he talks like he has one. He has. He has one. I am so worn out. This is Kondosesmia. And where I say number two, speeds of growth. 
This woman ah, wanted more. Yes. This one wanted better. Yes. This guy is at home. Yes. Can you imagine hiding money a primitive way instead of banking it somewhere? In a corner that is very dark. And, and rats could have eaten it. I know, right? But this girl picked it. Hey, I found your money. So here it is. Oh my God, isn't that embarrassing? <laughs> so you, you can tell. And we can, I, I, I keep asking women to avoid low vibrational behavior. Mm. But the time a person is digging a mattress to oh put money God. inside. <laughs> So, and then you have to tell people what your man did and you're embarrassed. You can't tell. How do you even say it again? <laughs> so, so, the thing here we're saying is, this woman has only two choices. Mm -hmm. Although you want to, you don't want to say you broke your marriage and society says, he was not beating you, he was not having unfaithfulness. Why are you laughing? That's mm -hmm. When women become successful, they're too proud. Now look, mm -hmm. because he's not working. That's how you <clears> will <throat> tell people. She left him because he has more money. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Our, this girl has only two choices. If you can't live with that, simply dissolve it. If you can live with it, if you can find a harmony, some people say, ah, I'm okay with that, it's okay. As long as he's around to keep the kids uh, busy when I go to work, it's okay. There are people who are okay with that. It's okay, you're okay with it. But majority of people, the more you grow, the more this person looks like a stranger. Yeah. And they still want to impose their leadership mm. <laughs> because it's a man. Uh, yes. They still want to, to, where are you? You, do, you should have come here at six. You, you arrived at seven. <laughs> it's like there was traffic. Do you know anything <laughs> about handling traffic? <laughs> Driving a exactly. truck. <laughs> so this girl has only those two choices. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Well, you're doing good for yourself and you're very patient. Exactly. I have to give you that. Hello, Mikali. More patient than both of us. It's true. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikali and Zulu, I'm Tabi from Meru. I'm dating a guy who is not from around. And my question is, are long distance relationships genuine? No, it's not the distance that is genuine. No. This is a pre-25. It's not this kilometers. This question is so immature. Kilometers. The kilometers. <laughs> the kilometers are coming <laughs> it's, <called> genuine. It's <laughs> not. Are they 400 or maybe 425? She should be asking whether the distance is physical or virtual. <laughs> now we could have measured. <laughs> so, please, uh -huh. it's not the distance, it's mm -hmm. the people. And we said, yes. it's not, uh, every couple at some point, they will be apart. For some, if it may be for a week or for mm -hmm. a month. If, you're, if your partner has flown out for some business or gone to Mombasa for something, yes. for that one month, you are long distance. Yeah. So, it's not a particular couple that is, you, and we also said, hardly will you ever date your neighbor. You'll be dating people who far away and then you start coming together after you marry. Mm. So many people will have long distance at some point. There before, today we have university where people are coming from different parts of life and this, you know, you mingle in the workplace. So it's not the distance, please. It's the parties. Check whether you mean it, both of you. That's okay. the question to be asking. Well, but you are homework, Nani. Uh, on Facebook, I see Marianne Moa says, Hi, Mikali, how do I deal with a man who gives you everything you want but spends most of his time drinking alcohol? You want us to inject him with an anti-alcoholic drug? <laughs> Be nice, Zulu. Mariana mm. pana shanga, mepatiwa kila kitu anataka. You want a car, babe girl. You want a house, babe girl. You want to go shopping, babe girl. But then him, as Mikali, you shop, let me he's drinking. Let me tell you the psychology of lazy women. Okay. Because they want to be given everything, mm -hmm. they exchange everything for the material things that have been given. Ah. What is our dream? What did she want? A man can give you everything, but can he give you the dream you're running? No. Can he give you the, the, the fulfillment of affecting the generation with your gifts? Mm -hmm. there, are, there are other things more than material things. Mm -hmm. So if you just wanted to be given things, a day will come when he can't give them. Who will he be to you? What if he lost the money? Where is he getting the money from? Who will he be to you? So being given everything means you, have, you, have, you yourself, your goals are too small. Everything, if, if everything for you is material things, car, house, your dreams are too small. Okay. I think one final question. I hope I have tried to read it first before. And I hope it's where. Morning, Mikali tuned in from Nakuru. My queen, I think, is my question. I th I'm not so sure. This, this shorthand is, uh, oh, my question is why nowadays when they wrong their husbands, they can't apologize. Only team. Okay. Team anauliza swali. Kama wangu, ananiambianga, angalia mdogo. Ana, angalia, <laughs> angali, oh, ananyambianga, angali mdogo, anaeza enda kwao. So I end up apologizing for things I haven't done in order to keep the relationship. But naona, nikichoka kuinamia mwanamke kila time. <laughs> Hacha kucheka. <laughs> this is a poet who has not been discovered. <laughs> My brother, stop acting poetry with your life. Eh? It would have been a good poem if it was uh, creative. But now it's realistic. Once a person, Mwikali, once a person tells you, nie can go away. Don't continue to stay with them. Don't. Going away is in their mind. Mm. Once a person threatens breakup, divorce, and it is repeated, it tells you they're not in this to stay. That's you never true. feel secure. So please, next time she says, I'm still young, I can go back home. Tell them, please, now let's do that quickly. <laughs> exactly. So I said, it's quicky. 
kama vile mda wetu imeisha siombi ni kuweke Benjamin Zulu KE everywhere and 0701299333 Mikali Mary on Facebook it's Mikali Mary on Instagram and Twitter we're taking a very short commercial break 3144411 is our SMS line just one shilling talk to us we'll be right back